there will be a fighting for the mountain of the gold that will come out of the Euphrates River. And everyone fighting over there would be thinking that he would survive and get the gold, but all of them would be killed and nobody would get it. And so much so that every 999 would be killed out of every thousand. So Muslims have been thinking of joining one camp or the other because somehow they have established to themselves that they are the oppressed ones. What happened to us? How come we have forgotten that we were a superpower, an established superpower, like maybe the second biggest or the biggest superpower not too long ago, just a hundred years ago. The Ottoman Empire was from the east towards the west and we have been in power for several hundred years. How come we keep on forgetting that? How come we have established, we have made up our minds that we have to be in one camp or the other? No, my brothers and sisters, this is not the time of thinking like slaves. We don't have to be in the one in one camp or the other. I'm not making the case for being in the American camp and I'm openly opposing the idea of putting the Muslims in the Russian camp. Both of these camps are the camps of evil. The same enemies, but they are behind our backs. They are friends of each other. They have the same interests. And it is very important to understand the time we are living in. This is the time when all of the minor signs of Kiyama have been fulfilled. So now it is the time for bigger wars. And Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the final prophet, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told us that there will be a war near the banks of Euphrates. And that will be because of the gold mountain that will come out of the Euphrates river. If you look at the current hotspots of this war, this war, you will find it just around the Euphrates river. That's Syria, Iraq, Libya and the case of Turkey is, is, is heating up as well. So if Russia and United States is fighting in, in Syria, United States is holding Iraq, NATO is in Libya. If all of their concentration of their activities is around the Euphrates River, then what does it make? On top of it, add the discovery of the, of the, of the biggest um, gold mine in Turkey, just near the banks of uh, Euphrates River. You would know that all of this fighting is happening around the Euphrates River because of the wealth that is there. There is a concentration of the oil wells around the Euphrates River. And now the gold mines are being discovered around it as well. So this war that is happening around Euphrates River is because of the wealth that is there. The fossil fuels and the gold mines that some have been, many have been discovered and more to be discovered uh, very soon. So that's why this war is happening. What's the teaching of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa about this war? Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that there will be a fighting for the mountain of the gold that will come out of the Euphrates River. And everyone fighting over there would be thinking that he would survive and get the gold, but all of them would be killed and nobody would get it. And so much so that every 999 would be killed out of every thousand. And also Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that the strategy that if you find that time, if you happen to be at that time, do not take anything out of that. So anyone fighting over there for that goal, for that fossil fuel wealth, either Muslim or non-Muslim are, are fighting for that wealth and they are not fighting for haq. They are not fighting for truth. Especially for the Muslims, that gold and that wealth, if you have to fight for that, this is haram for you. So right now, the interests of Russia and United States and NATO it is around the Euphrates River because of the wealth of Euphrates. This is taking the shape of Armageddon or the World War III or the clash of civilizations that would happen around Euphrates River because of that, that mountain of wealth, because of that mountain of gold because of that fossil fuel wealth. So in this war, whoever participates will not survive. So much so that, that out of 
every 1999 would be killed. So for Muslims, it is technically haram, technically prohibited for the Muslims to participate in this war. So we cannot be in the Russian camp, we cannot be in the American camp, we cannot be with NATO. So we have to be independent. So this is the time that this war of Euphrates would expand to take all of the Middle East. And after that, according to Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Kuffar and the infidels would come attacking on Muslims under 80 banners. And every banner would have 12,000 soldiers. All these hundreds of thousands of soldiers, armies would come attacking on the Muslims. And that will be the time that only one part of the land would be saved from that war. And that part would be the land of the pure, the country of Pakistan. These NATO, Russia, United States would have a pact, they would join hands, and all of these nations of infidels would come together to attack the leftover Muslims in the land of the pure. That's when they would be attacking on the Muslims like the hungry people attack on food. But that's also the time when Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us the Muslims would, would bring the kings of Hindus, the kings of India chained and they will be given success and they will also be given uh, forgive they, they would also be forgiven uh, from uh, from the hellfire inshallah and that's the time when imam al-mahdi lead muslims into world war into ghazwat al-hind and that's also the time that after winning ghazwat al-hind imam al-mahdi would lead the muslims to take back all of the lost lands around the euphrates river in the middle east in hijaz and all of the lands that we see peaceful today, according to the ahadith we know would be lost. And then Imam al-Mahdi and the Muslims would take back all those lands. So my brothers and sisters, this is not the time to, to fall into Russian camp. This is not the time to fall into American camp. And this is not the time to join hands with NATO. This is the time to stand on your feet. This is the time to make a comeback. Although we are being killed, Although we are being shown as weak, although we are scattered, this is the time to prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the time to give up all on all of our shortcomings and hope from anything, anyone apart from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the time to abolish all forms of shirk. When we do that, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show his mercy on us and the Muslims would stand as the standalone power, thrashing all the so-called powers of today. Either it be Russia, NATO, or United States, or any other. Brothers and sisters in Islam, please try to understand the current context and do not fall for the people who are trying to throw Muslims into the hellfire, who are trying to throw the Muslims into the fire of war that's happening and that's going to happen around Euphrates River and in the rest of the Middle East.